I've always wondered, why does a bee sting you once, but a wasp can sting you multiple times? Hmm, maybe my microscope can help us solve this mystery. It just so happens that this is a bee, and this is a wasp. Unfortunately, I found them like this outside, but their death is not in vain because they both had stingers attached. Let's take a closer look. This is what the stinger of the wasp looks like. It's incredibly thin, but super sharp. This has no problems piercing your skin. It will inject a venom. See the hollow tube in the middle here? That allows for the venom to be delivered into your body. And as a few of us might know, a wasp can sting multiple times. How does this compare to our bee stinger? Oh, I understand. Take a look at the bee stinger shown here. It's made up of three parts, a sheath and two jagged barbs, left and right. When the bee stings you, the two tiny saw blades slide back and forth to drive the barb deeper into your skin. Between both barbs, there is a hollow tube. And like our wasp stinger, this is a channel that pumps venom into the wound. And of course, the barbs on the bee stinger cause the stinger to get stuck into your skin. And that's why a bee can only sting you once and a wasp can sting you multiple times.